us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them which trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Almighty God, unto whom all hearts be open, all desires known, and from whom no secrets are hid, cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of thy Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love thee, and worthily magnify thy holy name, through Christ our Lord. Amen. <coughs> our Lord Jesus Christ said, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord, and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like namely this, Thou shalt love thy neighbour as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. Lord, have mercy on us, and write all these thy laws in our hearts, we beseech thee. Almighty God, whose kingdom is everlasting and power infinite, have mercy upon the whole church, and so rule the heart of thy chosen servant, Elizabeth, our Queen and Governor, that she, knowing whose minister she is, may, above all things, seek thy honour and glory, and that we and all her subjects, duly considering whose authority she hath, may faithfully serve, honour, and humbly obey her, in thee and for thee, according to thy blessed word and ordinance. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who with thee and the Holy Ghost liveth and reigneth, ever one God, world without end. Amen. Amen. In silence we pray. Grant, we pray, almighty God, that as we believe your only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, to have ascended into the heaven, so we in heart and mind may also ascend, and with him continually dwell, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. is taken from the first chapter of Acts of the Apostles, beginning at the first verse. In the first book of Theosophus, I wrote all that Jesus did and taught from the beginning, until the day when he was taken up to heaven. After giving instructions through the Holy Spirit, the Apostle whom he had chosen. After the suffering, he presented himself alive to them by many convincing proofs appearing to them over the course of 40 days <clears throat> and speaking about the kingdom of God. While saying to them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John the Baptist with water, but you will be baptised with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times of periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive the power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all of Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he, he had lifted up and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going and they were gazing up towards heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up towards heaven? This Jesus, who has taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Here endeth the epistle. The Holy Gospel is written in the 24th chapter of the Gospel according to St. Luke, beginning at the 44th verse. Then he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms, must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written, 
that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in the name of all nations, beginning from Israel, Jerusalem. You are witness of these things. And see, I am sending to you what my Father promised, so that here in the city, until you have been clothed with the power from on high, then he led them out of Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he withdrew from them, and he was carried up to heaven. And they worshipped him, and they returned to Jerusalem with great joy. And they were continually in the temple, blessing God. This is the gospel of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thanks be to God. I believe in one Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in our Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of his Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten of our faith, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us on the conscious fire. He suffered and was buried and the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of the Father and he shall come again with glory to judge both the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceedeth from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshipped and glorified, who spake by the prophets. And I believe one Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins. And I look for the resurrection of the dead and the light of the world to come. Amen. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. And so let us pray. On this Ascension Day, we remember in our prayers all those churches dedicated to the ascension of our Lord. We pray for the life of the Church as we begin the nine days of prayer for the Holy Spirit. Almighty and ever-living God, who by thy holy Apostle hast taught us to make prayers and supplications and to give thanks for all men, we humbly beseech thee most mercifully to accept our alms and oblations, and to receive these our prayers, which we offer unto thy divine majesty, beseeching thee to inspire continually the universal Church with the spirit of truth, unity and concord, and grant that all they that do confess thy holy name may agree in the truth of thy holy word, and live in unity and godly love. Lord, in thy mercy, Amen. Amen. Beseech them also to save and defend all Christian kings, princes, and governors, and especially thy servant Elizabeth our Queen in this her platinum jubilee, that under her we may be godly and quietly governed, and grant unto her whole council, and to all that are put in authority under her, that they may truly and impartially minister justice to the punishment of wickedness and vice, and to the maintenance of thy true religion and virtue. Lord, in thy mercy, Amen. give grace, O Heavenly Father, to all bishops and curates, to Justin, our Archbishop, and to Christopher, our Bishop, that they may, both by their life and doctrine, set forth thy true and lively word, and rightly and duly administer thy holy sacraments. And to all thy people give thy heavenly grace, and especially to this congregation here present, that with meek heart and due reverence they may hear and receive thy holy word, 
truly serving thee in holiness and righteousness all the days of their life. Lord, in thy mercy, Amen. Amen. we most humbly beseech thee of thy goodness, O Lord, to comfort and succour all them who in this transitory life are in trouble, sorrow, need, sickness, or any other adversity, remembering all those whose names are laid upon the altars of this church, and all who have asked for our own personal prayers at this time. Lord, in thy mercy, Amen. Amen. we also bless thy holy name, for all thy servants departed this life in thy faith and fear, remembering in particular Val Bell, beseeching thee to give us grace, so to follow their good examples, that with them we may be partakers of thy heavenly kingdom. Lord, in thy mercy, hear our prayer. Grant these prayers, O Father, for Jesus Christ's sake, our only mediator and advocate. Amen. Amen. He that do truly and earnestly repent of your sins and are in love and charity with your neighbours, and intend to lead a new life, following the commandments of God and walking from here thenceforth in the holy ways. Draw near with faith and take this holy sacrament to your comfort and make your humble confession to Almighty God, meekly kneeling upon your knees. Almighty God, Father of all Jesus Christ, maker of all things, judge of all men, we acknowledge and bewail our manifold sins and wickedness, which we from time to time most grievously have committed by thought, word, and deed against thy divine majesty, provoking most justly in thy wrath and indignation against us. We do earnestly repent, and our heart is sorry for our misogynist doings, the remembrance of them is grievous unto us, the burden of them is intolerable. Have mercy upon us, and have mercy upon us, most merciful Father. For thy Son, our Lord Jesus Christ's sake, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may ever hereafter serve and please thee in newness of life, to the honour and glory of thy name, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of his great mercy hath promised forgiveness of sins to all them that, with hearty repentance and true faith, turn unto him, hath mercy upon you, pardon and deliver you from all your sins, confirm and strengthen you in all goodness, and bring you to everlasting life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Hear what comfortable words our Saviour Christ saith unto all that truly turn to him. Come unto me, all that travail and are heavy laden, and I will refresh you. Hear also what St. John saith, If any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous, and he is the propitiation for our sins.
Lift up your hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. Just give thanks unto our Lord God. It is meet and right so to do. It is very meet, right, and our bounden duty that we should at all times and in all places give thanks unto thee, O Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, everlasting God. And now we give thee thanks because, after his most glorious resurrection, your Son appeared to his disciples and in their sight ascended into heaven to a place prepared for us, that where he is, thither we may also ascend and reign with him in glory. Therefore, with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, we laud and magnify thy glorious name, evermore praising thee and saying, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of thy glory. Glory be to thee, O Lord of us. We do not presume to come to this thy table, O merciful Lord, trusting in our own righteousness in thy manifold and great mercies. We are not worthy so much as to gather up the crumbs under thy table. But thou art the same Lord whose property is always to have mercy. Grant us therefore, gracious Lord, so to eat the flesh of thy dear Son, Jesus Christ, and to drink his blood, that our sinful bodies may be made clean by his body, and our souls washed through his most precious blood, and that we may evermore dwell in him, and he in us. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, who of thy tender mercy didst give thine only Son, Jesus Christ, to suffer death upon the cross for our redemption, who made there, by his one oblation of himself once offered, a full, perfect and sufficient sacrifice, oblation and satisfaction for the sins of the whole world, and did institute and in his holy gospel command us to continue a perpetual memory of that his precious death until his coming again. Hear us, O merciful Father, we most humbly beseech thee, and grant that we, receiving these thy creatures of bread and wine, according to thy Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ's holy institution, in remembrance of his death and passion, may be partakers of his most blessed body, and blood, who in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, he broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Likewise, after supper, he took the cup, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them, saying, Drink ye all of this. This is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins. Do this, as oft as ye shall drink it, in remembrance of me.
which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Almighty and ever-living God, we most heartily thank thee, for that thou dost vouchsafe to feed us, who have duly received these holy mysteries, with the spiritual food of the most precious body and blood of thy Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ, and dost assure us thereby of thy favour and goodness towards us, and that we are very members incorporate in the mystical body of thy Son, which is the blessed company of all faithful people, and are also heirs, through hope, of thy everlasting kingdom, by the merits of the most precious death and passion of thy dear Son. And we most humbly beseech thee, O Heavenly Father, so to assist us with thy grace, that we may continue in that holy fellowship, and do all such good works as thou hast prepared for us to walk in. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with thee and the Holy Ghost be all honour and glory, world without end. Amen. Amen. Glory be to God on high, Amen. and in earth peace, good will towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee. We give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord God, Heavenly King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, O Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. Thou that takest away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. Thou that sittest at the right hand of God the Father, have mercy upon us. For thou only art holy, thou only art the Lord, thou only, O Christ, with the Holy Ghost, art most high in the glory of God the Father. Amen. May the Spirit, who set the Church on fire upon the day of Pentecost, bring the world alive with the love of the risen and ascended Christ, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, be amongst you and remain with you this ascension tide and always. Amen. Amen. Amen.